Okay, let's take a look at uh, Elevon mixing uh, for ER9X. <clears throat> at first, a quick review of what Elevons do. You have uh, two control surfaces that are mixed uh, so that your uh, so that your up and down, left and right, all those motions are translated onto just the two control surfaces. I've uh, linked to a couple of other uh, posts and videos where we kind of cover what that is. But let's, uh, okay, first off, notice as when we do anything with uh, mixing, be sure and uh, take your prop off because it's really easy to accidentally set your prop spinning and that makes for an uninteresting uh, experience. Now we've got two servos here. They're connected to channel 2 and channel 3 on the right and left, and those have a linkage back to the control surfaces here. So first, let's do uh, the elevator. That's a little bit more intuitive, so we'll do that first. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, on channel 2, we're going to mix in a hundred percent elevator. Now you can see that is doing pretty much what we want. Pull back on the stick, it's going to bring the plane up. Push forward on the stick, it'll take the plane down. Now let's uh, jump out and do that over on channel 3 as well. So we're going to say elevator a hundred percent and now you'll notice this is not what we want. We want both of these pulling up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change the weight from 100% and we're going to bump that down to minus 100%. Pull back, plane goes up, push forward, surfaces go down, plane goes down. Okay, now what we're going to do, we've got no uh, left or right motion on the uh, aileron. So we're going to mix in on channel 2 first. We're going to edit, oh, we're going to insert a mix and that one we're going to take it from the aileron. And this is also going to be either a plus or minus a hundred percent. Basically depending on how your servos are installed it'll either be plus or minus and you just have to kind of test it out and see what works for you. Now we pull to the right. Now the right should go up. This is reversed, so let's bump that down to minus 100. And we see, push the stick right, the right surface moves up, push the stick left, the right surface moves down. We test out the mix, we still get up, down. Now you'll see when we're pushed hard left and we're going up and down with the elevator, we're getting the typical Elevon movement. We won't cover the, in detail why why that is the way it is, but in those other postings I've, I've got notes about why each of the control surfaces does what it does. So now let's uh, jump over to channel 3, the left side, and insert an aileron mix. And let's see, we push that to the left and it needs to be reversed because this should be going up. Zero down to minus a hundred, and there we have it. We push left, right, forward, back, and we go to the different corners, and everything's good. Now, the one thing that's going to be a problem is for the Superfly, it has some recommended throws. And these are way too much. This is just like super over controlling. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the weight 
from 100. We'll do this on channel 2 first so you can see. We'll say edit and we'll basically change everywhere where there's 100 we're just going to change it to 50. And uh, I had experimented earlier and determined that that was about right. So we change that to 50. Edit, change that to a minus 50. And we'll just kind of see the difference. Back, you can see this is moving much less. You can see this is jumping up more down and same for left and right motion so we will change that for channel three and change it for the aileron mix And now we can see there's the recommended motions for, for the Superfly. Anyways, it's pretty straightforward just to keep in mind that uh, the pluses and minuses will be uh, kind of random uh, based on you know, how you've got uh, the servos set up. As you can see here, you know, I've just got them opposed left and right for, you know, for symmetry on the plane. You could have your setup differently, but basically you mix in the elevator first to make sure the up and down motion is correct, and then mix in the aileron. Remember, when you push the stick left, the left side should go up. When you push the stick right, the right side should go up. Do all that, and you shouldn't have a problem um, uh, doing elevon mixing on the, on the ER9X.